Again. It's nice to hear music, <laughs> nice to hear life, energy, enthusiasm after a game. You know, we needed that. Also to start the game, you guys started the game you know, with that attitude you've talked about, with that energy and then that first goal. Well, you know, the last time we played it, we could go in Springfield, they uh, put a big push on in that third period to finish the first game off, then the same thing in the first period of the second game, and they basically ended the game in the first period with a 3 nothing lead. So it was important to come and match their energy and their intensity, and the guys did. They came out, I thought, played our one of our more complete games all year long. Uh, we were joking that that might have been Lordson's first time below the hash marks the, all season and gets a goal for the effort. Uh, what did, can you just tell me what you saw in that play that, you know, in his just well, he's taking a, it a different method? He's just joining the attack. You know, it's a, uh, he's a weak side defenseman and, and, and everybody wants to get up on the play. We want our weak side D especially to, to get up to the offensive blue line and then you got to read and see what happens. And Slater makes a good read. He finds him and Oliver can shoot the puck. There's one thing that he can do very, very well. He's got a hard and heavy shot, whether it's a wrist shot or a slap shot, and uh, he, uh, he scored a, a very important goal, and a, it was a very nice goal. Well, it wasn't a, like, you know, a defenseman who doesn't end up shooting as much. You might expect his goal to, you know, kind of be one of those that ends up on a stick and gets a little lucky, but it was not one of those. No, no, he, no, he had the puck from the top of the circle in, and he was taking luck. He knew where he wanted to put it. He put a heavy shot on it, and... Uh, it went in. Nice, nice for him. What, what kind of a lift does that provide you know, when a guy like that comes in and scores a goal at that point in the game for you guys? Well, you know what? In, in a game like this where it's 1 1 and everybody's working on both teams very hard, it's sometimes the player that is the least expected to score surfaces and does it. You know, that, that's that's kind of playoff look that you have. You know, the, the, the top lines nullify each other, the top defensemen. The next thing you know, it's a third, fourth line player, your sixth defenseman, whatever it might be. Those are the guys that end up scoring a big play. And, and I don't want to say that, you know, Oliver's a sixth defenseman or anything like that, but it was a, uh, it's a read. He's, he's been jumping up in the play over the past uh, several games. It, it's, it wasn't just by accident. It's, he's aware of what his responsibilities are in joining, and he made a great play. He's also, you know, he's up there with Sabret, and, you know, usually the pairing is like a, a stay-at-home guy like him with the offensive guy, so the offensive guy will jump up a little bit more than he has Lawrence in the state. Well, it, had, it was the weak side def right. defenseman, okay. though, so that's, that's why it's Oliver. You know, the play came up on the right wing side. Side. And so it's the net D, the weak side D, is the guy that, that joins. You can't have your strong side guy following the play in case something bad happens. The weak side guy can can re recover and get back in the defensive posture if need be. And uh, also, you're a great option on the attack. Hey, uh, that first goal by Nobles, you know, that was uh, another good shot. You know, it's a good, play, good pass by four. You know, uh, that's a big juncture in the game for you guys, especially given last week's game you know, at yeah, it was a very good goal on, on all sides as far as puck movement. Uh, Ford did a nice job, I think, holding the puck and, and making people commit and then finding Nobles. And Nobles has a nice touch. He's got some skill. He's got some nice ability. He, he had a quick release on that under the, under the crossbar on the glove side. And, uh, you know, was, uh, that's, a, that, that's a goal scorer's goal. And it's nice to see him score. Uh, what happened to him in the second period? He ran into the boards. He, he hurt his foot running into the boards. So I think he's going to be out for this weekend. Um, yeah, I'm sure he will be anyway. We'll see. And, uh, but he hurt his foot when he hit the boards. There was nothing else. He went in to check a guy. I think he kind of might have lost his balance actually and that kicking the boards and hurt himself. So will be reevaluating this now? Or? Well, tomorrow, I, I don't know. I mean, the doctors here, the doctors have looked at him now. I think it's a, I think it's an injury that will keep him out of the lineup tomorrow. What about for an extended period of time? Next week? I don't know. That, that's a tough call. I hope so, but you know, it now it becomes a comfort thing getting your skate on, and as soon as that happens, then you can get back in. Thanks, Coach. Sorry, I just wanted to ask you, um, you know, Harry's first game back since the stint in the NHL there, what did you think of his game? He's showing off some of his speed for sure a few times there. 
Yeah, Harry had a, uh, you know, the, the one hand pass. He kept going, he had the breakaway on it. But, but he has nice speed, you know. He, he, he can put pressure on the defending team. He's, he gets pucks on his stick. He can attack in the north out if you take it to the net. And uh, that way you're a threat all the time. So it was, it was a good game for him, first game back. Great, thank you.